Hello, everybody. Welcome to E-Prime for this evening. I am Daydrian. Writer, poet, and Peaky Blinders actor Benjamin Zephaniah has died after losing his battle with brain cancer. The death was confirmed earlier today in a post on Instagram. Zephaniah's early work used dub poetry, a Jamaican style of work that has evolved. He also performed with the group The Benjamin Zephaniah Band. As his profile grew, he became a familiar face on television and was credited with bringing bringing dub poetry into British living rooms. He wrote five novels as well as poetry for children and his first book for younger readers, Talking Turkeys, was a huge success upon publication in 1994. On top of his writing work, Zephaniah was an actor and appeared in the BBC drama Peaky Blinders between 2013 to 2022. He played Jeremiah Jimmy Jesus, appearing in 14 episodes across the six series. Now, Byron Messiah's Taliban listed among Billboard's top 100 songs of 2023. The publication released the list earlier today, featuring music from genres country to Jersey Club, R&B and pop, a deviation from the 2010s and early 2020s when hip-hop ruled the charts. Taliban's, which occupies the number 75 spot, was a breakout for Messiah, who was born in Jamaica but grew up in St. Kitts and Nevis. Fans of both Afrobeats and dance all have claimed the Taliban's as their own. However, Messiah said the track is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, congrats. Taylor Swift is Time Magazine's Person of the Year. She was awarded the title a week after Spotify declared that the anti-hero artist was the most played musician on the streaming service. Swift was chosen from a group of nine finalists that included Barbie, King Charles III, and Open AI CEO Sam Altman. Swift has seen much success for 2023, which includes the enormously successful e-restore and concert film and the release of her remade album 1989. Now, Beyonce, named as Billboard's top grossing R&B artist of the year, she also leads Billboard's all-genre top tour start with the Renaissance World Tour. The tour sold a total of 2.8 million tickets, earning a whopping 579.8 million US dollars. This figure includes one date in October that falls outside the 2023 tracking period. And although the tour has concluded, Renaissance continues to pull the big bucks as the film Renaissance, a film by Beyonce, Beyonce opened atop the U.S. box office with more than $21 million. That's it for E-Prime this evening. I am Daydrian. Thank you for watching.